So I'm editing my video in that um, I just watched it back. Um, and just to clarify a few things, I was a, a vegetarian for 17 years. 12 of those years, I was vegan. And um, most of that time, I was a whole food, um, low fat vegan. Um, and the other thing is, is my highest weight, I was 320 pounds and now I'm 205. So I have lost a lot of weight over the years. Um, and I will be doing a video about that, about my weight loss journey because it's been up and down. But anyway, so there you go. Enjoy my results because I am. Well, hello everybody. Looking in the wrong spot. There we go. How y'all doing today? I'm doing phenomenal um, because I just got back from the doctor with my current lab work results. Um, number one, I am off all blood pressure medicines as of today. Um, hey, 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 hey. Which means I will not be weighing in maybe probably for a while because my last pill was HCTZ, which will make me water gain. I have no idea how much and I'm nervous about that. So I don't know that I'm gonna weigh for a while. I'm a little bit scared because um, I do not wanna get discouraged. But I really couldn't get discouraged after my results today because, quite frankly, if I never lost any more weight, my results today prove to me and should to everybody else that this is going to be the rest of my life. This is the rest of my life. I'm not even kidding. So what I have here is three tests, uh, blood tests. The first one is from when I was a whole food vegan towards the end of when I was a whole food vegan. The second one is two months into me being a vegetarian keto. And then the third one is recently, it's, it, it reflects the last six months of me being um, ketovore pretty much. So I will start with my A1C because I am a diabetic. When I was whole food vegan, my A1C was 7.1. Uh, then two months after I became vegetarian keto, I had my blood work done and I was a, uh, my A1C was 6.8. Six months later, as a ketovore, my A1C is 5.4. And keep in mind, I am an unmedicated diabetic and, um, this has all been diet. I am a 5.4, which means I'm not even in pre-diabetic range. So that alone, I'm over the moon. Okay. So the second big one, the second big result is um, when I was a whole food vegan, my triglycerides were 351. When I was two months ketovore, my triglycerides uh, were 171. And then now being a ketovore, my triglycerides today were 121. There you go. Um, my cholesterol as a whole food vegan was uh, 193. My cholesterol as um, the cholesterol level is what it says. Cholesterol level as keto for, no, as um, vegetarian keto, it was 192. So one point drop. And today, my results of being keto for, my cholesterol level is 218. It went up. Uh, my, let's see, di let's see, direct, do we do direct LDL? Does that matter? Let's do HDL because there you go. My HDL as a whole food vegan was 38. As a, um, vegetarian keto, my HDL went to 33. And then my HDL as ketovore 
is 48. So it went up and I, and we all know that's the good one, right? So yeah, I went up to 48. So I am very pleased with that. The, um, I don't know what else you want on that one, but, um, let's see. My cholesterol HDL ratio when I was a whole food vegan was 5.1. When I was a um, vegetarian keto, it was 5.8. And then now it is 4.5. So it has come down as a keto board. So, which is good. So I am almost in the normal range. 4.4 uh, is the normal range. So I'm almost there with that. That's fantastic. The next issue is that I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. So when I was a whole food vegan, my I was diagnosed at 5.8 something. 5.82 5 or 5.83 something. Anyway, and then I started having Brazil nuts and extra B12. And um, I think it was the selenium in the, the nuts, but now that I'm eating meat, I'm getting selenium and I'm also getting B12. So um, I went from a 5.8 and then as a whole food vegan, I did get to a 2.32 by doing that. And then as a, um, as a um, vegetarian keto, it went to 2.866. So it went up, which is not good, by the way. The higher the number, you know. Uh, but now, now as a keto bore, I'm at 1.988. So I am doing phenomenal. The other thing is, is I've had for quite some time high um, white blood cells and some other... Um, things that were quite high, um, that were concerning, they've all calmed down, um, into regular, uh, levels now. Um, so my potassium is still a little low. Um, let's see my, but I was taking HCTZ for years and that reduces, but it has gone up. So let's see my potassium when I was a whole diabetic I mean not the food you know what I'm saying uh I was at a 3.9 for my potassium then um as a vegetarian keto my potassium went down to 3.2 but then as a keto war it's gone up, back up to 3.4 so um, while I'm still low, I think w now that I'm off the pill, um, it will, it will go up. So everything is looking fantastic for me and I am just over the moon. My weight has, you know, significantly dropped. I used to be 320 pounds. I am now 205. So, um, it has been a long road, but, um, I have found for me my answer and I know that, not everybody has the same answer, but for me as a unmedicated diabetic, this, this is my answer. And I, I am pleased as punch because this is the easiest thing I've ever done. And so, and I mean that, um, this has just been amazing. So, um, if you have a diabetic family member, um, or friend, please send them my way. Um, and uh, let them watch this video um, because this has been truly life-changing for me. Um, I'm off all medications. I'm off all medications. And um, that's pretty freaking amazing. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day. I know I am. Uh, I want to go celebrate. And I'm not going to celebrate with food. Uh, I'm going to go buy myself something uh, really pretty. And um, probably a little blingy. Um, not really. I don't buy a lot of blingy. But I definitely am going to buy something pretty. Anyway, I'll let you guys know what it is later. Have a good one.